auto repair. I come to save y'all money, help you to do it yourself in your own home. Hope this video can help you and bless you. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. All righty, what we got is a 1997 Lincoln Towns car. And what I'm changing now is the fuel pump. I need to put my safety glasses on. <laughs> I didn't know it had so much rust under here. Alrighty. So what I did is it had this connection. And this connection was right up here. Connected right here. So I used my handy dandy ice pick. <laughs> and then what I was able to do is get on the top of this here and this was up there and I was able to push this down instead of because there's a lot of videos are showing that you need to cut a hole out you don't you just use this to push this down and and then pull it out really slowly and take off these fuel pump bolts I think they're eight millimeter or 10 millimeter, I'm not sure yet. But we'll get to those. And we'll be right back. Hmm. All right, we got six, eight millimeter bolts. Then you come off, start from the top, then to the bottom, so the gas won't leak on you if you got too much in there. And we also, we have these two uh, fuel lines. And I have this special tool to take those off. I can show you how to use it. So you come up here, you take your tool, one of these here, you put it on there. Put it in, side of that little coupler there, that line, and you pull that line towards you, towards the tool. And then when it goes toward the tool, it'll push it in those little tabs inside that line. Then you pull, then you retract, you, you pull it off. Let's see if I can get a oh, good view. Okay. Here, push it towards you, then pull it off. When you get it on there, and then it'll pick up right off. Just like that. It's gonna leak some gas, so get out the way. Alrighty, and then we're gonna take those bolts off. It's eight of them. And then it looks like this 15 millimeter, I believe. Don't take this bolt all the way off, but I'm gonna take it down a little bit so I can get this. Remember that connector I took off earlier. I'm trying to get it out of there. But it, um, the tank is in the way, so. Maybe if I go a little bit further, no. Yeah, I'm going to drop, I'm going to hit that nut up, to, um, loosen that nut right there and try to come down a little bit so I can get this all the way off. And then I'll be right back. Um, this is the old filter and then it came with a connector. The connector had both sides on there. I didn't have to wire anything. And then this is our new one. And then see the connector is bigger, but it, the connector turns into this right here. So we're good. I already put it on the the assembly and then I put a rubber that comes with a kit this kit right here with hoses and clamps that you need to put on the other one and then I put, took off this uh, filter off the off the old one with my um, little ice pick there was a little ring on it I'm putting the ring back on this one right now this is a little ring that was on it and then that ring was on that little nipple right there. That little nipple right there on this. And then I'm gonna put it on the new one. Here. And we're gonna put it right there. You see where it's at? Can they see that? Yep. All right in there. I'm gonna try to push that down on this new one. I'm using a new, the old one, it's still good. It wasn't one in the kit, so we'll just reuse that old one. Alrighty. I'm gonna 
try to hold it. I'm going to have to come around. that one and then push it down with this one so it sits is this here two of these little ice pit thingies Here. Push that on there until it locks in. Try to get a new one. Push that till it locks in. Uh, do your best to get a new one. assembly down here we're out here man in 112 the weather is 112 good thing I'm up under the car in the shade let me see this here We're going to be putting that on there. See, I already have this new connector on, and it connects right there. Then I'm going to cut this clamp off and put the new clamp on that one. And put everything back together. I got this down just hanging. I didn't have to take it all the way off because I couldn't take that connector off up there, that electrical connector. So I just got it hang hanging. You know, it's all loose. You know what I mean? I have it, you know sitting on this right here so it won't you know pull on the electrical connector and it's okay you know as I'm not pulling it as long as you're not pulling it everything will be okay then I'm just gonna take this off this little clamp right here and put this new one on that one right here and put everything back together and I'm gonna try it before I put all the bolts back in and um yeah take it out the same put it back in the same way you took it out and hopefully this can bless you to do it yourself at your own home in your own garage thank you very much god bless